<laughs> oh yeah. Oh, Today I am demo riding a brand new enduro bike. Yes, I do enjoy my 2020 Transition Patrol. I've actually decided I would like to find a size medium frame for this build, but I'm also not married to Transition, so it also may be worth looking into some different enduro bikes. You've already seen me demo ride a Santa Cruz Nomad a few months ago, and I definitely enjoyed that one too. But for today, I'm going to check out the Rocky Mountain Altitude. And this one was sent to me from the Pros Closet. And yes, they are the sponsor of today's video. So the Pros Closet buys and sells certified pre-owned bikes. And now they're even offering direct to consumer brand new bikes from some brands like Rocky Mountain. So I decided to try that out. I picked out a brand new 2022 Rocky Mountain Altitude Alloy 70. Personally, I don't really need carbon. Now, whether you buy a new bike or a certified pre-owned bike from them, the bikes come almost fully assembled. All you really need to do is put the front wheel on, your own pedals, pump up the tires, and maybe adjust the handlebar. If you do buy a pre-owned bike from the pro's closet, it gets certified by the master mechanics who inspect, wash, replace parts, tune up all the bikes in their warehouse based in Louisville, Colorado, making sure the bike shows up at your door ready to ride in an awesome shape. The pro's closet sells more than bikes too. Suspension, wheel sets, helmets, whatever. Got shoes you never ride? Trade them in, get a new kit, or just shop their website for hundreds of items you need. If you're going the used route, you don't have to worry about buying a dud with these guys. I would definitely trust them with my purchase. And you can use my code BOOSTMASTER22 for free shipping. Their website's got all the information that you need, including the weight. This one comes in at 35 pounds, 13 ounces. So with this being the Alloy 70 spec, it basically means it's a pretty solid build here. It's worth $7,346 Canadian, the bigger sizes have 29er options as well. I'm just going for 27.5 though. And on this build, we've got a Fox 38 Grip 2 Damper. Probably my favorite part on this whole bike. Fox DHX Coil. Yes, I'm going with the medium, trying to get more experience with that sizing. I appreciate how the size medium comes with a 780 millimeter wide bar, just like I prefer. Though they still only come with 150 millimeter dropper posts. With me being 5'10", I definitely prefer something bigger. I really like the tire set with an Asagai Max Grip on the front and a DHR2 Max Terra in the rear, though I would prefer a stiffer casing than XO Plus. Race face wheels, we got Shimano XT brakes, XT derailleur and shifter, all pretty decent stuff. All right guys, Boostmaster here, I'm out here in Squamish with Matt Bolton. So I'm going to be testing out this new Rocky Mountain Altitude. I'm pretty stoked. We've got a Ride 9 chip here. I'm actually deciding to go in the middle position, which should be about a 65 degree head tube angle. I test rode it when it was in its most slack position and I'm not sure that I care for it so much because I was doing a bit of pedal striking. I really appreciate the adjustable geometry on these bikes. Nine different positions for BB height and head angle, as well as an option for a longer or shorter chainstay length. I'm gonna stay with the shorter chainstay length myself. And we're gonna ride some sweet trails out here. There's a new trail called Airplane Mode. You probably heard of it. So I haven't even ridden it yet. So we're gonna ride that, hit some jumps. We're also gonna do some slab trails. Matt Bolton here is on his 2021 Transition Patrol. It's the mullet setup, 29er front, 27.5 rear. Looks pretty awesome. We're about to ride in a trail called Cakewalk. It was just rebuilt in spring of this year by a guy named Ted with Dream Wizard, so I'm pretty hyped. This is gonna be awesome. Fresh work on this trail. Why don't we ride it? Heading up Cakewalk, behind Matt here. Remember the last time I rode this trail was years ago, so I honestly don't remember it like at all. It is pretty dry out uh, these days. <laughs> Sweet. Ooh. Oh yeah, that is good fun. Yo. Bike is feeling good. Okay. Just 
wait. Oh, oh nice. Look at this. Oh. Sick. That is cool. Yeah, suspension on this bike is feeling great. I love this fork a lot. Sick. That's, That's freaking cool. cool. We have an optional one here. I think I remember this. Pretty techy, but it is nice and dry today. Actually, I do remember seeing this. I'm down. You yeah, just gotta, don't want to slide off the end. Nice. Not too bad. Yeah. Right on. We'll see what happens. All right, let's try this move. It looks pretty sick. Oh yeah. Yo. Woo. Oh yeah. Yo. Woo. Yeah, dude. Coming out fast. That was sick. Yeah, get the little hairy. <laughs> yeah, dude. This trail is so sweet. So you can follow his line here. Yo! Oh, Woo! Yeah! Oh! Yo! Hiker, bike. Oh, cool. Right on. Yeah, this place could really use uh, some rain, that is for sure. Nice, that is a cool bridge. Interesting. So this is not open, I guess. Ah, uh, shoot, I remember these jumps. I don't remember the drop, but. Yeah, you really open. That's cool. Okay, <laughs> what is this? That's hilarious, look at that. Oh wow, that's cool. So far this bike is feeling really comfortable. Very intuitive, everything is predictable and feels great. It feels poppy enough for some of these jumps too. Oh yeah, there we go. <laughs> that was so sick. Yo. But pretty soon we're gonna try out an actual jump line and really see how this bike handles the airtime. That was so fun, dude. That's a cake walk. That's so good. Classic. Love that one. Definitely could use some rain, but yeah, still fun. So we're just gonna make our way out to uh, airplane mode this time. Sick therms. Sick. Oops. <laughs> Yo, airplane mode. That's sick. Everything's hand built. It looks like a machine built trail, but it's all hand built. Yeah, oh, that's loud. awesome. I actually love that. The guys did a great job. So. Ready? Let's do it. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> okay. Yo, Woo. that is cool. Whoa, <laughs> uh, oh boy. Yo, oh, that's a different trail too. This is the old line, so I gotta go. That was a lot of fun. Okay, let's uh, try that part again. There's a bigger hip jump coming up. We're just gonna take a look at that one.
feel like this bike can pop up pretty good. Whoa, look at all this. What the? Ah, cool. Yeah. Sick. That's actually super fun. Super good, yeah. Yeah, this looks great. Yeah, the speed we were coming in already felt good. Yeah, it's kind of like that was perfect. Yeah. We could have hit it, but I wanted you to see the landing. <laughs> yeah. With this massive catch bird, little setup jump, and uh, he calls this one the Cedars Palace. Yeah. You can jump over the whole thing. Yeah, looks like it. Probably about 25 feet by the time you have to land it. Nice. Pop from here. Yeah, pop from here. Oh, yeah. All the way. If you case it too, it's, it's great. You can kind of land yeah. all the way down there. So. That's sick. It's like a week of building just in this one turn. Oh, sh Okay. I definitely underestimated the speed for that one. Okay, so that was longer than it looks. Okay, gotta go faster this time. All right. <laughs> okay. Well, at least I got the jump. <laughs> it's fun, yeah. It takes a little getting used to, I guess. It's just blind. Yeah. Okay, let's try clearing that bridge. Woohoo! <laughs> there we go. That's fun stuff. All right, let's finish off. Airplane mode here. Let's train it all up. <laughs> Woo. Yeah. So good. So sick. Whoa, <laughs> that's that the most difficult part of the trail. <laughs> that's super fun, dude. Because I'm looking at all the geometry, like this head to bangle, it is a little steeper than the patrol. Like, because I also demo rode a Nomad and that was very similar to the patrol geometry. 64 head angle. This one's like 65. Almost the same chain stay and like, but I feel like, but you got the ride nine chip so you can adjust it more, right? But it's like, you can go a little bit longer reach with steeper head to angle, which I don't know if I care for at all, but. And then in the slackest position, just find it was a little too low. <laughs> Because otherwise the slackest is like 64 and a half head tube angle, which I like. But then if my pedals are too low, I don't like that either, so. So far, bike is feeling great. But one last thing I want to try out is some rock slabs. Highway to Hell is a short one with some sweet slabs. It merges back onto Hueso out in the Alice Lake Trail Network. I don't think I need gloves anyway here, so I'm just going to put those away. <laughs> Cool. <laughs> so sick. I like that. A little jump into a slab. Nice. That was pretty sick. Oh. <laughs> That's a good one. Oops. Nice. Sick. Yes. Yeah, that was really fun. Yeah, it's a great little connector and pretty sick view. I should mention it climbed really well, as long as I wasn't in the lowest bottom bracket setting that is, so I didn't have to hit my pedals on anything. I was very happy with how it performed. 
<laughs> I stayed on my bike. <laughs> oh, not there actually. Oops. <laughs> Wait, so so fun. Hold up. Ouch. Well, that really sucks. I guess I was going too fast down that rock slab and lost control in the loose dirt. I had to bail out. Oh, my hand and then my ankle hurts me. Shoot, that was not good. Yeah, I just going a little too fast. I definitely hurt my ankle here. I really hope it's not too bad. I can barely walk on it. I still have to get down to my vehicle though, so I hope I can make it down the rest of the trail. Yeah, that was all right. I feel like I can put some weight on my tippy toes, just not so much on the heel. Although a couple parts I had to awkwardly walk down. My ankle was swelling a bit. It turns out it was just a sprain. I had a limp for a couple weeks, but honestly, I'm actually doing quite a bit better. Now as for the bike, I thought it was really solid. I also love the paint job on this thing. The geometry is good, and I definitely appreciate that Ride 9 chip. Though ultimately, I kind of wish I could get a slightly slacker head tube angle while not lowering my bottom bracket so much. Though I would also put 165 mil cranks if it was my own bike rather than the 170 that's on here. Otherwise, these size mediums are feeling pretty good for me. Like I said, I want to get a size medium on my patrol anyways, or just get a different bike like a Rocky Mountain Altitude or perhaps a Santa Cruz Nomad like I rode last time. What do you guys think of this bike? Do you own one or have you ridden one? I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments below. Big thanks to the Pros Closet for lending me this bike. And it's now time to return the bike back to them where you could even buy this bike if you want as a certified pre-owned bike. And by the way, did you see that video of me demo riding the Santa Cruz Nomad? If you haven't, check it out here. I rode some epic North Shore janky trails. It was tons of fun. Thanks everyone. And I will see you guys next time.